All right, we're only looking at a five minute chart. Okay, so we've got some fresh levels above, uh, but now where's the demand below? Well, we know there can't be any significant demand uh, above today's low of 3707.50, right? If there were any significant buy orders, I'm talking about a big stack of unfilled buy orders, it would not be physically possible for price to get down to this level. Make sense? So let me kind of clean this up a little bit. Got some old lines down here. But if you look um, just below today's low, uh, 3710 is already hit. So, you know, this area right here, you're probably going to, you know, there's probably some, some demand in here. I'm not saying that's a great level that we should buy at for a, for a uh, you know, long term, uh, you know, for a huge move to the upside. But, you know, there's probably some demand here, right? This is the origin of this move. Um, so, we've got some fresh levels above and a nice profit zone now down to at least the 3707.50. So, I, I'd probably say about 3707.50. Make sense? So let me just put a blue line in here. Yep, that didn't do it. So, oh, full disclosure though, I, I did uh, initiate a, an options position this morning that's bearish. So I just wanna let everybody know that. Not to just tell you I'm doing it, just uh, I don't want, because uh, I'm, I uh, always want, uh, you know, if you're, if I'm suggesting anything bearish and I'm already in a bearish position, I just want to make sure uh, you know that. Does that make sense? Actually, uh, no, not that long term at all. Expecting the fuse to maybe come down to around the 89.50 area. All right. Never want to get accused of front running or anything like that. I, I saw people do that in the late 90s. Um, not good. Happens every day, but, uh, so here is, you know, looking up in this area, you've kind of, kind of, kind of three, three little zones stacked on top of each other. Uh, then again, just above 3730, right around 3731 is another level that kind of starts up there. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. This is just more of a short term, uh, short term idea right here. Okay. And when we go to the, let me just go to the queues to just complete the NASDAQ picture and then we'll pop over to the Euro. Um, sorry about that, here we go. Yeah, so all um, um, on the queues here, um, where is it? So we're back up. If you look at the weekly chart here, we're back up into this larger time frame supply. Um, we also have those smaller time frame supply zones up there. But if you look around, um, you know, here I can clean this up for you. Clean up even a little bit more. You see around 89.50. You see all this right here. Okay. Here, if you want the, uh, there we go. Okay. This whole stuff around 89.50, you're probably going to get about, once you go just dip below that, you're probably going to bounce to the upside. But with price up near larger time frame supply, this gap here, what kind of gap do we call this? If anybody's with us here in the XLT, uh, what kind of gap is that? What do we call that gap? Yeah, it's a novice gap. Okay. So if you know the definition for a novice gap, that's a pretty high probability bet. So just betting that uh, you know prices are going to come down closer to the 9850, 8950 area. Um, you know it's not not looking for a huge move out of that. Could you go through that? Yeah, you could go down to the uh, you know looking at this chart, you're, you're actually more likely to go down to the 8850. That looks like an even better level. This doesn't really look fresh anymore. So we'll uh, we'll see. All right, um, but again, what is the what are the two things that makes make that a decent opportunity? Fresh level, profit zone. Let's go to the euro. 
Oh yeah, let's pop over to that dollar supply. Thanks for I forgot about that. So this is not a new level. Uh, we you and I we've been talking about this level for a while. So watch this area up here. Once you get above uh, 8060, really comes in around 8065. Okay. All right. Euro, euro, euro. What do we have in euro? Oh yeah. So first, let me show you this level that uh, I don't is not going to hit. I doubt it's going to hit uh, today. Oh uh, yeah, with the with the dollar, I see your question there. So you know you're coming up to this level for the for the second time, and uh, we do have some demand below. You know, are we bullish or bearish on the dollar? Uh, I, you know, I think, uh, the answer I can give, you've got supply up here, but you also have some fresh demand below right now. So I think for the next, uh, for the next, uh, you know, few days or weeks, we're going to stay between 80 and, uh, you know, 80 and this 8150. That's probably, that's the most likely scenario right now. But the um, nice thing is, and, and Boyke, this is kind of to you and, and anyone that, you know, is holding positions for a, kind of a multi-day move or however long it takes, just something bigger than a little, you know, short-term trade. Um, when the dollar has such clear levels, so close like it does now, that's just, you know, that always equates to just fantastic trading and trading opportunities. Uh, Euro, yen, so anything, anything big against the dollar. You know what I mean? So 